Happy New Year, Summoners, and welcome back to Summoner Showcase Revival. It's good to be back, and I'm sorry that I went away, but hey, everybody needs vacation at some point, right? Did you guys make any New Year's resolutions while I was gone? Mine was to find new and exciting ways to show off all of your guys' amazing artistic talents and put it on display for the entire League of Legends community. So let's start off the year right by sitting down and reading some comics from Happy League Friends. These comics are sure to lift up your spirits, and when Season 4 starts, they might even put a smile on your face even after you lose out on your promotional series. Some of the more recent comics follow Santa Claus as he delivers presents to Jinx and Cho'Gath, and maybe Santa walked in on something that he wishes he didn't with Tarek and Ezreal. To check out these great comics, be sure to head over to HappyLeagueFriends.com. With parts of the Lunar Revel already hitting the PvE, we've seen three new skins for Trindamir, Ribbon, and Diana that we'll probably be getting later this year. But this next work of art is great concept for Karma that would probably fit in the same category. Feast your eyes on Tyrant Karma that was drawn up by DeviantArt user HiViH. This skin idea for Karma could easily fit in with the Warring Kingdom counterparts, and watching her fire mini Chinese dragon laser beams would just be so freaking awesome. Next up is this sick pencil drawing submitted by DeviantArt user Hi My Name Is Yosef, who did a great job capturing the blind monk in Lek. But this epic drawing of Lee Sin isn't the only amazing stenciled portrayal of the blind monk. Yosef also sketched up pool party Lee Sin and Leona, but in this one, he seems to be a little bit more of a creeper. It's okay, Leona, I promise he isn't staring at you. Because he's blind. This next video was submitted to us by a guy whose friend made a video for the TeamSpeak community. Now, the video itself isn't really filled with any original artwork or astonishing animation, but it is still made by a League of Legends fan who put time and effort into making something for everyone to see. And to be honest, I want to give Pyro Syndra some credit here. I've been here. I mean, it might only be slight motion animation with a shine filter, but this is how you get started. When your passion for League of Legends pushes you to try new and exciting things and test new programs, that's how you learn new skills and create even better works of art the next time around. Wonderful job, Pyro Syndra. Now, what are you guys going to submit? Do you guys remember last year when some assets leaked onto the internet about a possible League of Legends card game? Well, while we don't have any more information on the official Riot released one, over the holidays, Reddit user DangerBob created a bunch of Hearthstone cards with a little bit of a League of Legends flair to them. Using Champions as inspiration, he created an entire 30-card deck that you would be able to use when playing the virtual card game. From favorite champions such as Udir and Mundo to other champions such as Teemo, these cards seem like a great way to take two great franchises and polymerize them together. See what I did there? That's a third franchise. Three franchises for the price of one. Yes! Next up, I always love great skin concepts, but the ones that I really like seeing here on Summoner Showcase Revival are both the black and white as well as the color ones because they show the creative process. Triple in on DeviantArt has a bunch of great examples that are based on some of the skins that he wants to see created. Check out this sick cyberpunk Syndra that's complete with cybernetic implants, no, not those kind of implants, as well as holographic energy balls. Triple in also went as far as redesigning the entire lore for this champion skin and details how all of her abilities have been redesigned to work around the new lore. This is just one of many skin concepts that can be found on Triff's DeviantArt page, so to check out all of the great work and other various skin ideas, be sure to check the link in the description below. The snowdown is over, but the holiday season will never be forgotten, especially if you live in the Midwest. Woohoo Sue definitely loves the snowdown as she designed an amazing cosplay of Snowstorm Sivir. Look at the attention to detail on the costume and the design of the snowflake blade. Don't forget that these pictures were taken with a beautiful snowy background, which perfectly fits the Snowdown theme. All that fur definitely makes the entire costume feel warm and fuzzy, but I can't help but feel that Sue had to be cold during the photo shoot. Last up, just as a reminder, it appears that Lindsay Geektron decided to take matters into her own hands last year, because she said that once we hit 35,000 subscribers, we'd give away five $10 Riot Point cards. So to not make a liar out of us, be sure to sub and 
as well as tell your friends because the only thing you have to do to be eligible is be a subscriber to our YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe today. Now, I know that everyone here is no stranger to the free-to-play game genre. After all, it's why we love League of Legends so much. Zero cost, zero risk, all reward. With that said, if you guys want to help support LOL Nation TV, consider trying out World of Warplanes. The new free-to-play dogfighter is action-packed with hundreds of unlockables and hours of content to experience, and it's all free just like League of Legends. I was playing it all the time over my holiday break, and I just couldn't seem to put it down. Even more importantly is that World of Warplanes is not pay to win, which plagues so many free to play games that are out there. So rest assured that your gameplay is kept safe by either time invested or money spent. World of Warplanes is an amazing game with absolutely no risk to try, and if you try the game out now, head on over to OfferGB.com slash Warplanes, or simply click on the link or banner that can be found below this video. That's all for this week's Summoner Showcase Revival, but if you guys have any art that you want to see featured on next week's episode, be sure to send it into our YouTube channel. We had a lot of user-submitted content over the holidays, and apologize for not getting to everyone, but we'll be sure to pick back up where we left off next week. If you guys want to keep up to date on League of Legends changes, updates, and esports, be sure to subscribe and check out Waypoint with new episodes going up each and every Thursday. Until next time, Summoners, I'm Mike Shafton, and I'll see you guys next week. Game Breaker TV. To show off all of your guys' amazing artistic <laughs> for Trindamir, Ribbon, and Diana that we'll be getting later next year. This year. Watching her fire mini Chinese dragon laser beam? What the f <laughs> Wonderful drop. Using League's champions as inspiration, he cre- <laughs> Okay. As she designed this amazing cosplay, a snowstorm Sivir. Snowstorm Sivir. <laughs>